I'm Andy. I'm Melissa. And I'm Jack. And together we're working on restoring our sailing yacht. Some of you might think we're crazy taking on the challenge of restoring this boat and creating a life less ordinary. And we're sure there will be blood, sweat and tears, but it'll all be worth it when we embark on our epic adventure around the world. Unfortunately, rain has stopped play. Um, I'm so almost nearly done with the sanding. There's still lots of um, metal prep and stuff to do, but the, the sanding is nearly done. This side has been a lot harder because the, I've needed to go back further than the other side, um, just because of the condition of, of this side. A red, white, patchy boat. Jack's helping clear up the tools. It's wet! Because it's raining, and we don't want everything to get wet. Final bit of surface prep with the good old Turku rotary blaster. Melissa's just doing finalising the preparation of that surface ready for painting. Do you want to carry on mixing that while I pour more paint? This is just the primer, remember. We still haven't decided on the final colour for the top sides, but the primer is Jotun 87 2 pack epoxy marine primer and even on its own it's super stable so we've got plenty of time to decide what colour we want to put on top. We're rolling this on because we only have one HVLP sprayer, that's the high volume, low pressure type of sprayer. So if we'd stuck to spraying, only one of us could have been working at a time, but with three of us on the job it was much faster to roll it on. You'll notice we're using small rollers, that's because we searched everywhere locally for large rollers, but the large foam ones available in the area were all the wrong sort of foam which kind of disintegrates and falls apart when you use it with epoxy. These small ones don't disintegrate, uh, and although they take a bit longer to put the paint on, they work fine actually. That side's painted, that side isn't. So today we're gonna grind back that weld, do the metal prep and paint that side. Well, that's, that's ready to paint again. Um, so we can get more or less get ready, get painting on this side now. There's one or two bits left to do. We're just gonna have a cup of tea. We just had Eddie over, the yard owner, who's a uh, marine welder, fabricator and welding inspector for the marine industry and he's come over and said that's absolutely fine, he's given us some hints and tips for things to do moving forward but he's inspected my welding and said thumbs up to that, um, stop fiddling with it now, just get the paint on. So we're just currently marking the waterline um, because on this side it's still intact, on the other side it was blasted off. Um, so we're marking the waterline and then dropping, drawing a line um, below it basically so then we know when we can when we carry it back up where it is so this here is the current top of the bootstrap um, so we've put a line of tape and then another line of tape and we're going to mark here so then when we come to it we can sand and fair all this in um, and then we know that it's it starts there so I'm just taking off the top line of tape the top line of tape was level with our water line we've got two widths of tape that's what, two, in, two inch tape? Yeah, we'll, we'll measure it. So this line that I'm drawing now is along the bottom of the tape and we know that when we come to put it back it's two widths of tape up and it's the top of our original water line.
surprisingly, I've left, I've managed to get this ladder as close as possible, this stair thing, and squeeze myself up here, and I've left everything I need down there. A leaf just flew through there, and it scared the life out of me. I thought it was a mouse. How a mouse would be in a sugar scoop, I don't know. So, slowly getting there on the transom. Um, it's really hard to get into these corners. Um, but I'm just prepping this stuff back um, and with the turku, teraku, whatever it's called. I'm not going to do it inside here because there's still some welding to do. Um, but yeah, getting there slowly. almost ready for painting. These bits um, and the one on the other side uh, and is going to cut out at a later date and um, replace but these are for bilge pumps I think. And I've just got these last few bits to do around here. I'm not going wild on this bit because we've got to weld in the plate there so some of that's actually going to be cut back the top of this lip I think is going to be cut off um, yeah. and I'm not doing it inside here because there's still a little bit of welding um, into the transom One thing to mention here is, although it looks like it's getting dark, which it is, it's not as dark as it looks. The camera makes it look uh, darker than it was on the day. And also, the hardener that we've got for this epoxy uh, is quite happy setting at low temperatures and humid conditions. So uh, we're not outside of the, um, the capabilities of the paint to be painting in these conditions. We're on a little adventure today, aren't we? <laughs> Where are we? Uh, we Maris. Yeah, we're going to the castle and explore. Let's go. Bumaris Castle is famous as the greatest castle never built. It was the last of the royal strongholds created by Edward in Wales and perhaps his masterpiece. Oh, that looks nasty. Yeah, thank you. Wants to make steady. The castle sits on the Menai Strait, which is a strip of ferocious waters separating the Isle of Anglesey from the mainland of Wales. We had great fun exploring the castle. A cool place to live, wouldn't it? Yeah.
And just by coincidence, there was an amazing classic car rally passing through, which was really great to see. Some of these old cars look amazing. I got a bow and arrow. Happy. Then we watch some more classic cars. Mum's watching the sea, I'm just watching old cars, don't mind. And we went down to the seashore to watch some boats sailing in the strait. 